We've made several enhancements in this release in the area of gutters and their hydraulic results. This enhancement replicates some geopack drainage functionality for spread widths near sump inlets. So let's take a look at some of these changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is place gutters from the inlets on either side of it. So I'm going to use trace slope and the feature definition is one that's going to create gutter sections. So we'll pick the inlet to the south of the sag and accept the trace. Then we'll pick the inlet to the north of the sag and accept the trace. So I'm going to go to analysis scenarios and I'm going to compute the analysis scenario. OK, that's computed. I'll close the summary panel and we can see that our graphics have been updated now. Now I want to check a couple of things. Actually, let's, um, let's pick one of these gutters. Pick the last station. Look at the flow result there, 8.79 liters per second if we do the same for the other gutter eight point seven nine now if we look at the properties of the scenario it's using calc options called base analysis so I'm going to go to those calc options double click them and if I scroll down through here, there's this split downstream surface flow between gutters. I'm going to change that to true and I'm going to compute the scenario again. OK, that's computed. We'll close the summary panel. If we now select one of these gutters, go to its properties again, we'll find flow for the last station you see it's a smaller number now and that's because we've split the catchment fl flow across these two gutters because the two gutters are contributing to the same sag inlet 4.31 there